Hello, my lovely Sophia here. Let's have a look at what comes through from Spirit for you in this reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. I have no idea what they're going to bring through. How I do readings is I channel Spirit. The cards are merely pictures for you to, for them to show you in pictures what they are channeling. Okay, so if you do want your own personal reading, then please check out the description box below. So let's start with these and see what type of reading we're going to get. Okay, I'm just going to put out another one. Okay, so not sure whether it's going to be a love reading or just a general reading here, but they are showing here that there is something that you are feeling. They're trying to offer you something. You know, they're trying to bring you what you want, but you are a little bit resistant with your emotions. Okay, it's like I really, really want X, Y, Z, but it probably won't work out. I'm probably not good enough or deserving of it. They probably don't really mean it or I probably won't get that job. Whatever it is, your emotions are getting in the way and stopping what spirit is trying to deliver to you here. So they're wanting you to turn your back on any emotions that are not in alignment with the thing or the person that you are wanting. As I say, I'm not sure if it's a love reading at the moment or just general any other area of your life. So let's just bring in another one of these. Okay, so what's this one peeping out as well? So with these two cards, whatever gender you are, they are wanting you to step into your power. Instead of worrying and stressing and getting all sort of caught up in emotions that really aren't serving you, they want you to step into your power, be your normal self, okay, and to just have fun in your life. Because when, you know, a watched pot doesn't boil, they're saying, okay, so when you're watching and waiting, or you're doubting, or you're fearing, or you're questioning, okay, in your own thoughts, maybe going over the same thing with friends and not really getting a conclusive answer from friends or family, spirit is saying, whoa, stop doing that. It's stopping us delivering your package. OK, it's stopping us delivering the person that you want or the thing that you're wanting, the job offer, the money or whatever. OK, you're getting in your own way. So they're wanting you to just come back to your usual self, your happy go lucky self. OK, we all have negative thoughts, but we can all have positive. We can sometimes spend the day crying or we can spend the day laughing. OK, so they're wanting you to come into a neutral place. OK, where you're just enjoying your life, you know, being grateful for everything you have in your life already and giving thanks for the things that you're wanting. OK, so that they can be delivered to you faster. So spirit is really saying you're getting in your own way of stopping yourself having what you want again because your emotions are all over the place and it's stopping that happiness that you're wanting. Yeah, and again, exactly. Here's spirit guiding you and you're putting obstacles in the path. They're flimsy obstacles, spirit is saying. There is always a way over them, under them, around them. So come out of those thoughts and emotions that are stopping you getting what you want. It's like you're sat there you know, I need to figure out how I'm going to win this game. So I need to figure out what's my next move? What's their next move? What's the best way? How's it going to happen? When's it going to happen? And they're saying you're getting in the way. OK, you're getting in the way of us delivering what you want. Stop doing it because you are causing the time delay and sat there wondering why you're not seeing the movement that you want. Yeah, it's it's sort of putting it into the distance. The more you're focusing on it, the more you're pushing it away from you. So it's going to take longer. You're pushing it away into the 
future instead of allowing it to come into you. The message that you want, you know, allow it to come in. It can come to you within the next seven days, seven hours, seven minutes. Okay, so just stop trying to figure out how's it going to happen, when's it going to happen, all the ifs, whys, buts and maybes. They are saying you are divinely loved, you are divinely blessed and you are divinely guided. So trust in the divine process. Spirit knows what you want, but when you're getting in your own way, trying to plot and plan and fix and change, other, rather than just relaxing and going with the flow, doing you in the day so that it can turn up in its own unexpected way. Okay, the courtship that you want. So this could be love. Okay, the romance that you're wanting or the thing that you're wanting to make you um, feel happier in your life. Okay, you're making it hard work, they're saying. And with this cat, this cat is, excuse me, ladies, you know, excuse me, I'm right here. OK, and they're going, oh, this is got to focus on my job. You know, when am I going to clock off? How much longer is this job going to take? And what you want, Spirit is saying, is right there. Allow yourself to receive it. Allow it to come in. OK, you're really making a mountain out of a molehill, they're saying. Yeah, you're, you've got the drawbridge up. You've got the drawbridge up and you're wondering why nobody is coming to, to visit you. Why your person isn't coming forward? Why you're not getting that job offer? Why money isn't coming towards you? Okay, you got the drawbridge up. So it can't be delivered, Spirit is saying. Yeah, for some of you, okay, a new romantic cycle. Again, that courtship and dating card. So have faith in your dreams, okay? Just believe and trust in what your heart is telling you because you cannot desire something that isn't already there for you to have, okay? You might be seeing the complete opposite in the 3D physical world at this time, but they are saying the more you're trying to use your human mind of how do I fix this, how do I get this? When's it going to happen? How are they thinking and feeling about me? Am I going to get this job? Am I going to get the money? Like they said, the how and the when, the ifs, whys, buts, maybes, and, okay, they're saying you are, got the drawbridge up, the door's locked, okay? When you just say to yourself, oh, if I want this person, or if I feel the desire for this person or I just know that I really want this job or I could do with some money they're saying just go about your day being you not worrying not stressing not trying to figure anything out just allow yourself to receive trust in the divine process okay they're really adamant about this Archangel Michael wants to bring in a message here Yeah, a favourable outcome. So it says, thank you for the beautiful outcome in this situation, which is perfect and fair for everyone involved. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me to trust and have faith. When you are trying to interfere with your human mind, you're stopping things okay your human logical mind is for problem solving like oh looking at a map or which way do i get to the supermarket the quickest okay or um how do i solve this maths question or what's the answer to this question but when you're wanting life-changing events okay or things that are gonna help you and benefit you if you desire it in your heart, trust in your heart, trust in the divine process, okay? Because you're really stopping yourself from getting what you want here. Uh, yes, this is a message from Archangel Michael, okay? He's backing this up. This is me. I'm telling you that you can have your favorable outcome if you allow yourself to trust and have faith. Stop messing with our job. We will deliver it to you when you have stopped locking the door, okay? Um, right, what else do we have here? 
let's bring this okay so spirit before we go then if it is a relationship how is their person feeling about them if it is someone you've already got on your mind this could be the one exactly this could be the one you've already met the romantic partner you seek so your heart's telling you this but you're doubting you're fearing you're feeling insecure you're questioning you're reacting to the 3d and all it's doing is blocking that energy okay you're not allowing your person to come in in the romantic way that you want here what if it is a new love It's worth waiting for. So if it is love that you're wanting, you haven't got anybody on your radar, there's nobody you're interested in, but you just are feeling ready for a loving, committed relationship. Again, look at where you are blocking this. Are you thinking you're not good enough, worthy enough? You're going back to past relationships. Oh, I always seem to pick the shitty ones. Okay, they're saying, get out of your way on both counts. Whether you know this person or whether it's new love that it's worth waiting for. Okay, get in alignment to it. Feel excited. Okay, because they're saying there is long-term commitment here. On both of these, they're saying, okay, getting to know each other. If it is someone new, okay, so getting to know each other, possibly marrying them. But if it is somebody on your mind who is very dear in your heart, and you are worrying and stressing and trying to figure everything out, micromanaging how it's going to come in and when. Okay, spirit is saying, let go. Okay, let it go, girl, boy. Okay, let this go so that we can deliver it to you. It's right here. This is the one for you. Wedding, okay. If it is a job, they just want me to bring in that. So if it is a job... Oh, lots coming out here. Yeah, you having that abundance. Okay, you sitting there, again, whatever gender you are, feeling like the cat that got the cream, feeling secure emotionally and financially, action being taken. Okay, look at this one. If you're focusing on your cupboard being bare in whatever area, emotional security, financial security, spirit is saying the door's right open. You're the one closing the door. We're not closing the door. We got the door wide open. We are wanting to deliver to you your gift, but you are all knotted up and tied up in your human, rational, logical, analytical mind, which is stopping your heart's desires coming to you. I will leave this with you, my lovely love and light.